name is Samantha Lynn. I am a recent graduate of the Gregorian. I graduated this past February, so February 2022, with an STL in Judaic Studies. And I am currently the Associate Director for School Growth and Student Recruitment at the Cristo Rey Network. And I'm headquartered here at the National Office in Chicago. Uh, while at the Cardinal Bea Center at the Gregorian, I focused on Jewish studies and Jewish Christian dialogue. So we took both a historical, um, a, a historical perspective, a philosophical and a theological perspective um, on Judaism, on the development of Jewish Christian dialogue and on the future and the possibilities of uh, Jewish Christian dialogue and Jewish Christian working together um, in the future. One of the most impactful things that I explored while at the Gregorian was the perspective, the Jewish perspective on who Jesus Christ was. So being able to explore the Christology of Jesus from a Jewish perspective and then kind of contrasting it with the a, a kind of a brief overview of the Christian perspective was a really incredible dive and also an example of an opportunity to continue an engagement with our Jewish brothers and sisters. Incredibly, the person of Jesus offered up this opportunity for deeper dialogue um, between these two faiths. So that was the most impactful um, sort of experience that I think I had at the Greg. Uh, how the Greg, the Greg has influenced my work here at the Cristo Rey Network, not necessarily because of what I learned in the classroom, but because of how I learned. We were, because the Greg is such a diverse and international place with many different perspectives and many different sort of goals going into what people hope to take out of their experience. I have really been prepared to navigate a very diverse and um, Christ-centered experience here at the Christian Ray Network as I work to provide high quality Catholic college prep education for students predominantly of color and um, all from the lowest quartile, um, lowest income quartile in the United States. Uh, as one of the very few lay women at the Greg, my experience taught me both kind of the importance of finding and creating space for yourself so one of the most important relationships I took away from my time was actually with my roommate and best friend who was also a lay woman um, getting her STL in Beni Culturale. Um, we lived together for three years while she finished her STL and I was working on mine. And it was incredible to be able to create community. The lay women all sort of found each other, even if we were in different study tracks and we found time to be together, to support one another and to kind of decompress, you know, when we really needed to after a long day. I think my time also uh, at the Greg taught me that frankly, the church has a long way to go, but it's exciting to see where it is moving in terms of incorporating lay female leadership. I had some incredible lay women that I also was able to learn from, like Madeleine Schiavo in the Cardinal Bea Center, Donna Orsuto, um, who's in the who's in the Faculty of Spirituality, um, professors in Beni Culturali. It was really inspiring to be able to learn from them. And they frankly paid particular attention to developing and I think forming those lay student, those lay female students as well, because they recognized that we needed an image of where we could grow and how we could take on leadership and have a voice in the heart of the church and in the future of the church. It was exciting for me to be able to talk with seminarians about what my experience was like, because I think I, I don't want to, you know, overstate it, but I think I was able to give them a good perspective on what it would be like as well to be ministering out in the world outside of the Gregorian, where they most assuredly are not the majority. The sort of last thought of the two other aspects of the Greg of my time as, as a student at the Gregorian that were incredibly formative. One was also as my time as a leadership scholar at the Lay Center, having um, a dedicated community to forming the life of the laity gave me the resources and the support I needed to to thrive as a, as a lay student because there aren't a lot of spaces just for lay students and it can feel really isolating and overwhelming. So I was really grateful for the lay center and for their specific space. They create space for dialogue, for interreligious ecumenical dialogue that really enhanced my experience at the Greg. We would have interesting classes at the Greg and then continue the conversation because those professors would come and speak at the lay center, which was really important. And then the second thing is, I think I had a very unique experience at the Greg because I was in a I was in a program for Jewish studies, so Judaic studies and Jewish Christian dialogue. I am so grateful for the perspective that it gave me because the future 
of the church is facing outward. It is how she interacts with the world around her. And there is so much that we can learn and take away from our mistakes in the past, but also from the joys that we've been able to experience in uh, the Catholic Church's growing and developing relationship with the Jewish people. I'm so excited about the future of the church because I know that when she starts to look outward is when she really finds the fullness of her mission. So I'm really grateful for, for my time specifically in the Cardinal Bayes Center.